What type of virtual staging software should you try as a complete beginner? Web-based DIY software application, maybe a hardcore like a 3S Max or something in between like SketchUp. To answer this question, first we have to answer another question and that is what is the purpose of your virtual staging images? If it is just to quickly test check the theory of virtual staging, perhaps SketchUp is very good. It is free. You can download loads of models. There's plenty of stuff available on the internet. On the other hand, if you're a realtor or photographer who wants to try and sell this as an add-on service, you don't want to pay much attention in quality, they are in a hurry, or something in between, a web-based applications can be a really good source. Finally, if you're a professional or trying to become professional, where you do virtual staging, a 3ds Max, Cinema 4D, Blender, or other professional softwares which are capable of rendering correctly shadow capture materials, it's a really good option. A few months ago, I made a comparison video between a web-based DIY software application for virtual staging and 3ds Max. You can find the video below in the description box. In the today's video, I'm going to compare another web-based software application for virtual staging, which I found recently. It is called AppliedDesign.io. You can simply go on Google and type it, and you will find their website, or you can check the link below in the description box. And before I continue, I want to, to, to mention that this is not a sponsored video. I will try to be as honest as possible and provide my two cents on possible ideas, what they can possibly do to, to extend their software, what is their pros and cons in general. Let's crack on. So this is their website. It's called AppliedDesign.io. We have to make a registration. It's really simple. All the menus are very clear. Then you have to click the browse button and load your image. Preferably, this should be an empty space. I give it a name here, I upload the image, then you have to wait for a little bit. And once this is uploaded, the perspective match, that is something really interesting. I really like with this web-based um, application. The perspective match is happening automatically. I don't know how they do it. Maybe someone does it there or it's uh, some AI algorithm, but it seems to be working really nice. Once the image is uploaded, you can click progress and you will see your image there. So the perspective match has been worked on and this will take, I don't know, with me, it took five to six minutes. I can't remember exactly, but it, was, it wasn't more than 10 minutes. I was happy to wait because it was time for another cup of coffee. But when I returned, I clicked edit because the image was already loaded and there was this browser with all of the materials, like all of the objects loaded on the left hand side of the web browser and you have room bundles same locations categories it looks like a room bundles there are different sets of models for example like room rooms uh, bedrooms and etc what you will see at the beginning is it's i, I really like the style of everything how everything looks it looks like very modern minimalistic it's very simple you just drag and drop all of the objects in the category option you have the different options of uh, like sofas tables and bedrooms and like accessories and yeah it's, it's just the normal stuff right now they have limited amount of models but they contacted me and they mentioned that they are adding working to add more and more models it is really simple uh, to work with it you just uh, select the model you click add and it drops into your viewport and then you just set it up it's it's really it's very straightforward and it couldn't be much more easier than this what i've noticed working with this uh for five ten minutes is the dropping the making the, the objects uh within the scene was really easy but somehow uh there's still glitches and bugs that like different uh, those uh, tutorial buttons that keep appearing and you cannot disable them if you click disable it doesn't disable if you want to rotate uh, uh, like if you really want to adjust your model you, you can click you can uh, with your mouse and manually adjust it or you can uh, use those options on the left hand side under the the model as you can see you can control the room scale which controls the scale of all models within the room or you can control separately their own values First, I will start with saying what I don't like, then I will say what I like, and finally, my final verdict will be what can be improved and what I see for this software in the future. 
And by the way, it is lovely out there. It's 24 degrees here and the birds are singing. It's just a purely magical moment. So you can tell the software is an early development because there are not a lot of options uh, and what's available hasn't been made via the eye of the home stager. Models are just populated with decors which doesn't quite fit each other. That's another problem. I mean, it's a huge problem for me at least. A different drawback is the diversity. It comes with the pre-populated models and I know why it, that's, how, that's how it's been made. And this is the problem, you can't change their decors. So you will end up using and using the same models every time and with staged image, they will all the same. For example, look at the bookshelves I used here. I wanted to create a symmetry by using the same models. Obviously, having those same decors will fortify the impression of being very computer generated. I added a few more bits, I tried a few more options and I decided to render the thing. When I was really pleased with what I see after testing like playing with this tool for 15 minutes, maybe 20 maximum, I decided to render everything. So it, this is very simple. You just press render, pick the image resolution and output format and wait 20 to 25 minutes. It's super straightforward. I really like how every single step, it gives you some indication what's going to happen and you can keep working on other images or wait for your image. My image took 20 to 25 minutes or something like that. And once it was done, I was able to download the image in different formats, for example, PNG or um, JPEG. And that is exactly what I do in my day-to-day uh, -day virtual staging. As you can see, their quality is amazing. I give it to them. I grant them this is really amazing quality because I've used a lot of web-based virtual staging applications and I haven't seen that kind of quality. Obviously, there are you know, problems. You can see this burn pixel, but uh, yeah, that's a minuscule thing. And I, I, I imagine they will fix that. And if you remember, the everything was automatically. So I didn't put any light sources and I suppose that kind of, I don't know what the magic is behind this software and their system, but they managed to recreate the lighting coming from that window. Obviously, if you want to add additional lights and if you want to really nail the precision of the lighting, you cannot because you don't have, simply don't have those options. But I'm impressed. And with minor adjustments in your photo editing program, it can be, I mean, it can look amazing. And the, the idea that the possibility that they give you a separate PNG file, which, which is separated only with the shadows and the objects, is amazing because you have wider control over the image by doing that thing. And additionally, I made another scene. So this is the scene which I used for my previous video, the link down below, by the way, this is where I compared another uh, web-based virtual staging application with 3ds Max. I've uploaded the same image. Obviously, I had to remove manually with my photo editing program the sofa which was laying on the left-hand side of the image. You can't see it there because it's not there. I've already removed it. Once I uploaded everything, I, follow it, I followed exactly the same steps with the software and you can tell those guys are working hard. I made those two scenes five days apart each other and the menus were different. Now you have more models, you have more sofas and more scenes and bundles, which is huge improvement. And here is what I do like in this software. First is the simplicity of the software. Even my grandma can stage an image with it. It's so simple. I like how everything snaps onto the walls, which made things easier to position models. And it just you can select a model, readjust wherever you want, use the depth, use the scale, use the vertical size, horizontal, and you're done. Second is the depth option. Under the options controlling each model, there is a depth knob which you can use to sync in the models out of the camera frame. It's very useful for cheating if you want to cheat and if you're a cheater, by the way, <laughs> I'm joking. The depth option is useful when you want to show an object partially or want to hide it out of the frame. Third is the lighting. I like how lighting is made here. It is not that nasty pre-rendered ambient occlusion effect that the rest of the web-based staging software provide. And here is what I think can be improved for the next versions of this software. 
At the moment, most of the decors can snap only to a certain things apart from the walls and the floor. As you can see, this teddy bear cannot really snap to the table. So I've tried whatever I can. No, it, it cannot. You can snap the teddy bear to the coffee table, but I wanted to snap to place this teddy bear onto my dining table. And the only possible way I discovered is by using the knobs under the models settings. So the vertical, you can use the vertical to rise it vertically or horizontally to rotate it, create adjusted size, and it will it will stand there. But you know, it's additional effort. And having this web-based application to really be um, that simple and to save you time like a, a some someone who is not really a virtual stager but more like a you know i know realtor or photographer who wants to just upsell something i mean this is a drawback for me and it has to be improved as you can see it snaps to certain things but not everything second the possibility to add spotlights or adjust the current intensity of the lighting before rendering it will be a very good idea if you can do something uh, called manual bracketing from the professional photography. I realize that this is a feature might not be used by someone who is not tech savvy or just looking to add few pieces in there and to sell the image to someone or sell the, their property with it. But it can be used for someone like me who doesn't mind using the software for simple projects where appropriate and having that greater control over the image. Third, better quality control of the models. Some of the models seem to lack their textures or look incorrectly when rendered. For example, like this table and chairs on the right hand side. As you can see, uh, the left hand side of the image looks perfect. Shadows, everything, lighting. But the right hand side... Uh, <laughs> jokes aside, uh, this can be solved by providing the option to render ID pass, which then the users can use to manipulate additionally with greater precision their models. And I was very surprised to realize that I was able to re-edit my image and re-render it. So by having this option, I removed this table and I used additional table to which was looking hopefully better and it was textured. And this is the final result of my rendered image and I think it's looking great. If we, ex if we don't count the four different types of wood which can be solved with render elements for example if i am able to select easily the table i can change the saturation or maybe the hue of that table and more or less roughly match it to the to the rest of the wood and this will create this uniformity for ten dollar per image web-based virtual staging software it is a great option if given the case that this is still early in development and there's tons of things to be improved and i'm sure they are working hard on it to improve so these are my thoughts and my opinion purely on this um, virtual staging software and i'm gonna repeat myself again this is not a sponsored video and that that's me purely interested in this um, software uh, going up and up because I think if you're not into uh, virtual staging if you're new to the virtual staging concept for ten dollars You can create an image which can compete with the providers which they charge twenty five dollars per image and their quality is crap and let's face it There are tons of people doing virtual staging out there with crap quality and this thing it has a potential to <laughs> like I know, outrank and uh, be up those um, uh, the quality of those guys. I know everybody should have the opportunity to earn some money, to do some crafting, to show to the world what they can do. But um, business-wise, I think this uh, this has a this software has a huge potential, and I'll be really pleased to see your submissions. So give it a try. Once you register with them, they give you away one free credit for you to try out, do something and submit it to my Facebook group. And I'll be really happy to see your submissions so we can discuss potentially what, what are the benefits and the drawbacks. So we, uh, even we can compare with something which is done with 3ds Max or SketchUp or Blender. And if you really like this video, click the like button. It is helping me a ton. Subscribe. And if you, if you haven't pressed the bell icon, please do because you will tell YouTube that you want to see my videos as soon as they are uploaded instead of YouTube telling you when you have to see what you have to see. That was George with Virtual Staging signing out. Bye.